All right, welcome back, folks. This week, we're going to start cutting fenders off the car. We're doing it. We're flaring it. So um, stick around. I'll get this thing turned around. I'll share with you the flares I'm going with, uh, where I got them, and uh, hopefully this thing works out. So uh, stick around, and I'll get this thing turned around and start digging in. All right, so these are custom image Corvettes uh, fender flares. Um, I did a bunch of homework on these before I started uh, making any decisions. Um, there's only a few people out there that make them, right? So you can go on eBay, you can get the L88 uh, uh, bolt-on uh, or fiberglass. I'm sure you can mold them on, a lot of people do. Uh, you can custom make your own flares, which I'm just not capable of doing. At least I'm not willing to take it on. Um, and um, I'm not sure, there might be another setup out there, but these flares I like the best. I've heard that they have the best fitment work with them and they come from a real uh, reliable source um, Josh Powers uh, custom image Corvettes so um, dynamic Corvettes also makes these but somebody told me that those are copies of these so uh, at the end of the day um, I called them both I worked with both of them talked to both of them and Josh does a lot of what I do I just had a lot more common with them and his service was great. And he sent me a ton of photos on them putting them on. So I think the front's two inch and the rear's three inch, four inch, not exactly sure. But if you go to their website, um, you'll get all the information there. So, so uh, I don't have the other fenders here now, but I'm gonna start laying these out. Um, we'll get started. All right, so what you're looking at is the layout based on a lot of the photos that I've received from Josh and just watching a few other projects. He's done two um, or three. Keeping all the bonding strips in mind, um, clearly this is the main bonding for the fender. And then finding a place to intersect for good mounting. Like there's a couple of structure, in, uh, inner fender structure uh, meeting points in this general area. Um, if anybody watched some of my birdcage videos, I still have some work to do on this mount. I'll now have access. And then there's bonding here from the inner fender that goes down. Anyways, that's where I'm at. Let me get, uh, let me get this thing removed and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys what I got. All right, well, here's a good look at the bonding strips after the fender's been pulled off. There's a lot of material from the old fender still left on here. A lot of adhesive. Um, it'll all have to be prepped. But I did my best to keep the parting lines on a bonding strip or at least somewhere where I could easily get a bonding strip installed. That there is a small little inside corner panel. Uh, again, it came off relatively easy. It took me about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, I think. Um, there's actually a bonding strip or area on that jam area, but I just left it. Um, here's the backside of number one. There's a metal plate there that's riveted. Uh, and it's, It looks pretty clean. I thought it was going to be worse, and there's a lot of, like, burrowing material from rodents in there so all this will get cleaned up but that's it okay first mock-up first rough fit with everything cut to size you know there's a little bit of i gotta prep everything underneath all of this so bear with me um, the back side of the fender fit really well um sorry so this is gonna this is gonna work out great, and I'll put bonding behind these open areas here, and uh, that's about as good as that's gonna get. But I'll clean all this up, level all this out. Um, the biggest problem I have right now is this front section, which I think I just have to pull these, maybe bring this up, push this in. But as you can see, body line doesn't i mean it's just fitment that's me doing fitment and then this part right here is extremely thick and i was hoping i didn't have to try to integrate it all the way underneath but it looks like i'm probably going to have to plus on rotation the tire hits a lot so i've got to figure that out but uh that's where i'm at now big flare big tire all right, well, it's on and that's it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and break these out into a few different uh, videos so they're more manageable. But uh, if you stuck around this long, thanks again. Please subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.